the smokiest art bag ever made. Hmm. Yeah, it's real. Let's get into it. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Mop Muser Whiskey Reviews. I'm Eric on the bar for today. Dun dun dun. Hypernova special release whiskey from Ardbeg Distillery over there on Isla. As always, nose taste finish review. This whiskey's coming your way. I'll tell you a bit about the value, share my final thoughts, give it a final score, and leave you with a malt musing. Before we do any of that, if you've yet to take a second, smash that subscribe button. That'll make sure you don't miss any of these reviews and keep you in the know about live streams here on YouTube. Okay. Ardbeg Distillery, known as one of the heaviest peat whiskeys, maybe, give or take. Well, this one definitely is. Ardbeg comes out of Isla, uh, an island off the southwest coast of Scotland, where a lot of the heavy peated whiskey is made. And in fact, the island itself is known specifically for its heavily peated whiskeys. Ardbeg, one of the biggest distilleries on that island. In terms of the single malt scotches, and the one we are going to look at today is a special release whiskey, which was dropped in late 2022, called the Hypernova. Let's get into the tale of the tape. So, Ardbeg Hypernova. This is a non-aged statement whiskey from Ardbeg. It is bottled at a strength of 41% ABV. And doing a bit of review here of the label, I can tell you that it does not say anything about chill filtration or natural color. Here's what I can tell you from what I know. It would be very odd if they added color to this, and the whiskey certainly doesn't look like it. they did. And also, Ardbeg is usually known for their... Uh, not chill filtering their whiskeys. So we're going to leave that up in the air. Unfortunately, you might have to go to the internet to find out the answers. Um, but here on the channel, we go by what the label and the packaging says. And since this only came as a bottle, this is all the info we got. So um, that's the tale of the tape here on the Ardbeg Hypernova. Now, what is to be known about this? Well, it says here that this is the smokiest Ard bag that has ever come out of the distillery. Cheating a little bit, I have found out it is supposedly 170 phenol parts per million. What does that mean? That is the measurement of how much peat is in that barley before distillation. Okay. So this is definitely the peatiest, smokiest ard bag. While those can be two different things, they usually work very synonymously with each other. And that is definitely the case with ard bag. Um, Okay, so how much of that peat actually carries into the whiskey? A lot of it is definitely lost in the distillation process, of course, and changes into different flavors, so on and so forth. Um, so it remains to be seen. That said, we got some of this in the glass right now. I'm going to dive in and tell you what I think. First of all, here is that color, which again, just has to be natural, right? Look at that. No age statement. And with a color like that, this has to be naturally colored. Okay, right away on the nose. Intense. And when I say intense, I mean intense. Smoke, um, that kind of coal ash, charcoal, wet campfire smoke. There's a bit of a freshness and a um, fresh cut wood bonfire note to it. Plenty of that going on. Wow. Um, you're also picking up what I'd characterize as kind of some vegetal notes, um, which is usually something that you pick up in younger spirit. So I definitely think that we're getting some of that here. The youth is showing. There is some, whoop. There's some vanilla. There's some earthiness. 
almost like a bubblegum, slightly like bubblegum tropical fruit type note. Very smoky. Okay. The nose, pretty straightforward. Okay, here we go. Hypernova Sludge. Hmm. Wow. Well, I'll tell you right now. As someone who's had a good share of art bags in their life, this is by far um, coming off as the most smoky and intense art bag I've had in terms of sheer just peat smoke and intense notes. It arrives with kind of a medium viscosity. Again, a little bit of that vegetable, vegetal earthiness. Vanilla, light caramel, a little bit of butterscotch. Yellow fruit, slightly tropical. And then as it builds, the palate's just assaulted with this effervescent, stinging chili pepper, um, just raw wood note. A lot of intense smoke following that up. There's little hints of fruit here and there. But this is an absolute uh, belter when it comes to, to the smokiness. That finish is around medium. It is just uh, leaves you with coal, ash, coal fire ash charcoal rather note um sweetness the so sweet and spice is really the way this is working little hints of lemon lime here wow that'll wake you up okay i'm gonna just put a couple drops of water here on this whiskey let's see what else we can get out of this feisty one here? Wow, nice. Okay. I, it, it, surprisingly, the water has kicked up that smoke even more. It is just enveloping this entire whiskey. There's little hints of barbecue, though. Like barbecue, um, it's almost like a like mesquite almost. Maybe something a little spicier. A little bit of chili. Earthy. Ash. Smoke. Bonfire. Wet wood. Vanilla. Whew. Citrus coming through more, though, too. Okay. Hypernova with water. Down we go. All right. Okay. Water is extending out this entire entire dram. Um, it has tamed the smoke on the palate a little bit, but this has gotten a bit richer, a bit creamier. Again, vanilla, um, slate charred oak, butterscotch, a little bit of tropical fruit, dark chocolate coming in now, and then just the onslaught of the Smoke and peat intensity, particularly on the back end of the development into the finish, whew, leaves you with fire breath for sure. Do not go kiss your significant other after having a dram of this. Okay. Let's talk value. Okay, on the value. Limited release, similar to the former Supernovas, um, that you're not going to be able to find this forever. Right now, there's probably a couple sitting on the shelf at a good liquor store in your neighborhood. You can also look overseas. If you do, the price of this is going up, up, up. Right now, I think you're looking at anywhere from that $275 to $300 range on average. Um, you may be able to find it a little cheaper than that in that 220, 230 range, but for the most part, um, this is a, uh, boutique whiskey 
limited release from our bag. And as you know, with those, the price is usually astronomical, no exception here on the Hypernova. But all of that said, is this a whiskey that you need? Let's get into it here. Final thoughts. Uh, first of all, I have a lot to say about this whiskey. We're going to start with the with the range that it is uh, really kind of been birthed from, which is the Supernova range. Over the last couple of years, periodically, the Ardbeg would release a heavily peated um, Supernova, which was usually, I believe, a bourbon cask and sherry cask whiskey. Um, also quite good, very uh, pricey and hard to get your hands on. This one is definitely the most youthful tasting of the uh, of the range that I have had. And let's talk a little bit about why that potentially is. Now, uh, some folks will definitely say that, you know, Ardbeg has been putting out younger and younger juice, particularly in their Fessiel uh, uh, Ardbeg Day releases each year. I completely agree with that. However, for something like this, which is going for the, such a heavy peat and uh, uh, smoky intensity, you know, I'm thinking about the Octomore range, where... With few exceptions, those are in that three to five year range. I mean, really, the older you're going to get with something like this, I think it gets more difficult to retain that level of peatiness and smokiness. So a young Ardbeg in this case makes sense to me. I would guess that this is anywhere from maybe five to seven years max. Uh, it has it has similarities in some, uh, some notes on the palate to the 10, some to the Wee Beastie. So... It makes complete sense to me uh, that, that this would be a pretty young whiskey. And while they don't throw the age statement on it, like the folks at Brook Lottie do with Octomore, not really going to ding them for that. Um, is this whiskey something you need on your shelf? Well, that's the big question here. So again, uh, the Supernovas, I think, were a little bit richer. They had a bit more complexity of flavor. Well, this is just a full-on blast of peat smoke. I think they largely succeed with what they were trying to do here. It is not the best Ardbeg that I've ever had, uh, but I will say I'm enjoying it. And I think the score I'm going to give this price considered is going to reflect that. I mean, um, it'll be interesting to see what else they do. If they continue to try to put out these super peated whiskeys. Uh, but for now, um, look, the the 10 and the Ugadal are really the Ardbegs uh, you need. Corey Vrecken is right in there too, in my opinion. So they have a couple of their special releases here and there that are worth getting your hands on. But this one, um, look, if you are a Pete fan, an Ardbeg fan, you're not going to be disappointed in this. This gives you a chance to really taste some of their young Ardbeg distillate. It is uh, going to cost you a bit of money, but hey, um, in this case for this whiskey, I'm not so surprised by the price. I'm not so surprised by the youth. I'm going to give this a solid 3.5 out of 5. Um, which means I do uh, recommend you give this a try and grab it at a good price. And, you know, honestly, if you're an Ardbeg fan, um, you're just going to want to get your hands on the bottle. It's, it's as simple as that. So I think this is a really respectable score for what I think is a pretty, all in all, pretty good whiskey from Ardbeg here in the Hypernova. There you go. 3.5 out of 5. Let me know in the comments below, have you had this? What did you think about it? Um, and what do you think about these super heavily peated whiskeys anyways? A good question to maybe consider is, is are there some whiskeys that aren't so supposedly high in PPM that you think taste smokier or peatier than some of these? Would love to hear about it. Until then, I'll see you next time on Malt Muser Whiskey Reviews. Here is your Malt Musing. Salonch.